Hey guys, this is Mainak and today we'll see how to do model analysis in StatCore Connect Edition. So firstly, you need to have a structure which is fully designed and you've applied all the loads and then you can apply the model loads or simply if you want to study model loads, you can directly apply model loads. To apply model loads, you can just go to loading and then, uh, then click on add and then here uh, just select none here and add here model, model load. Okay. So I'm adding this in addition to static load. You can add this in addition to your dynamic loads as well. So simply add the model load and add this loads. So then click on add here and then you have option of your frequency. So use the Rayleigh frequency if there is a you know, smaller model only one degree of freedom, but in practically we have to consider model calculations. So what is this model mass uh, missing mass mode? So for uh, this is a separate rig, but for each story, uh, you know, for the lump mass, we consider top and bottom. And the missing mass mode is usually below the flint level, uh, this mass mode, which we do not consider. So uh, considering this or not considering uh, this will not make much of an effect, but for detail analysis, you can take this. Otherwise, you no need to take this, okay? So this is for the, uh, you know, mode for below the length level generally okay in detail i'll make another separate video for this so just click on add and then click on close so in this model load ideally we should add all the loads in the x y and z direction dead load line we should add it is a dead load and light load in the x and z direction we can add so we can add that using the standard editor it is very easy but for saving time i'm just adding the uh you know uh your self weight for now okay so let's add only the self weight for now and later uh, for the detail analysis we can add so factor one minus one doesn't matter here so i'll just add one here uh so applying three directions but compulsorily you need to apply in x and z, x and z direction uh y direction is optional but i'm applying in all three directions to study the response so it's okay so just and uh, just click on assign to view uh, here for all the three load cases now, another important thing where you have seen the videos of ETF and or you have done the analysis in ETF, ETF, we consider three degree of freedom for each each float and uh, roughly we consider number of modes equal to the uh, degree of freedom, but practically it can be infinite. So uh, if the IS code criteria or the, uh, you know, whatever, whichever code you are designing by is not met, you can increase the number of modes. So for now, we'll keep the number of modes is equal to uh, three degree of freedom per float. So to restrict that, you can go to analysis and design here go to miscellaneous commands and here you have better mode shape so here you can define it as six so stat pro you can see the by default it takes as six but if higher story building make that suppose you have three story building then make that as nine so number of floors into three uh if you do more in most cases the more uh, the, the is code requirement will be fulfilled okay and if it's not fulfilled you can just increase the number of nodes then it will be fulfilled so just click on okay uh, this uh, this thing is done and we'll do just analysis and design. So run analysis and save. So it will calculate the model ma uh, mass distributing factors automatically. Uh, so in, so uh, since I have not added less uh, uh, loads in the model mass, so it, it has been calculated pretty fast. So we'll go to uh, utilities and we'll see the analysis output. Okay. So in the analysis output, I'll just uh, maximize this and uh, we'll go to find results. So here you can find all the results, base shear and we, I mean, we are concerned about model mass uh, mass and base shear, you will find in mass participating factor. So I'll just zoom in. So what does the IS code say? IS code and majority of the codes actually say the same thing. Here we have to minimize this to see it. Uh, the IS code says as per IS uh, 2016, the first three moves should contribute at least 65% mass participation factor in each principal direction. So when you see this, uh, 31 and 47, so it is, uh, you know, if you just add 31 plus 47 plus 8, so it is 86. So it more than 86, actually, to 87 or 88. So similarly, in the x, x, x and z direction, you can see, uh, mainly this, uh, in these two directions, you can see that the mass participation factor is more than 65 percent if you add the first three so it is we have pretty much okay and uh, we are not needed to concern about anything so we are good here some of x some of y some of z so we're good here now we can continue so you can see this other results as well my again, again uh, solution and you can see the frequencies uh, here as well 
So everything you can see. If you want to uh, see the frequencies, uh, you can see here. If you want to see the base period, uh, base shear and time period, you can also see here. So everything you can see in this model. Okay. So here you can see. So I'm just going to close this and let's enter into post processing. So just click on post processing. You'll enter in post processing mode. So we have want only model, uh, 31 model results. So just click apply and okay. Okay, so then you have the option of dynamics. Just click on the option of dynamics, it will open. And then here also you can see, uh, I cannot zoom in here uh, for the screen, but you can see here uh, the model uh, mass participant factor, which we've seen in the earlier results. This also Z direction and I direction, you can also see it here. So this also adds up. Now uh, you can also see the animations. Okay, so here you can see like this mode shift one, mode shift two, mode shift three. So let's go to mode shift one now. Go to animation and uh, here select mode. Now let's increase this uh, number to let's say one seventy. Okay, one seventy. Click on apply. Click on okay, and then you can see the rotation. This for mode one. This for mode two. You can see the modes behave differently. Mode three and mode five. So each mode it will be able differently and you can see the animation here. So this is a briefly uh, which I've shown how we can do the model analysis in stat. Hope this helps, keep learning, bye-bye and make sure to support me using the like button. Thank you, bye-bye.